Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisal Vikadam. In our previous video, we have seen UiPath's object detection algorithm and using AI Center, we have predicted from the CCTV footages how to count number of people present right now in a store. And this video actually got 1000 views in six days where I'm so much amazed that I had to create this second video. Now this second video is about a Python script and we are going to write a Python script. You might have already guessed it from the thumbnail and the title of the video. We are going to create a video where we are going to predict our face or we are going to detect our face or you can detect your eyes also using your webcam or your laptop's camera. And for that, we are going to write a Python script of only 40 lines. That's it. So without wasting time, let's see a small demonstration of what we are going to build today. Hi, my name is Nisar Vikadam. So I have created a small Python script, which is of only 14 lines, which you can see on the right hand side of the screen. With this small piece of Python code, you can write a face detection code using OpenCV. And that's where I'm using CV2 to check and to detect the face from using the webcam. Isn't it fun? So let's go ahead, watch this complete video, how to write this code and have some fun. Let's go ahead and without wasting time, let's start writing a Python script. So before we write the Python script, what are the prerequisites? So the first thing is that you should have Python installed. Obviously it's because it's a Python script. So you should have either Python 3.7 or 3.6 installed. I have Python 3.6, uh, 64 bit. So, and the two things more you need, which is nothing but NumPy library and uh, OpenCV because we are going to utilize OpenCV for writing this code. So how do you install that? If you have Python already installed, just go to command prompt and just say pip install numpy. Now it is already installed in my machine. That's why it's saying already satisfied. So similarly, you have to also install OpenCV. Now, once you install both the libraries, OpenCV and numpy, now let's start writing our code. Before that, we need to create a Python script. So let's create a simple text file where we will write it is as face detection and we are going to rename it as dot py now this face detection let's write it with a sublime text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a sublime text right here now let's get started with writing our code so the first thing that obviously we have to import cv2 because we are using open cv concept here now we will need a cascade file because this uh, face detection or eyes detection open cv there are so many cascades which are already created so we are going to leverage one of them for that you have to navigate to the open cv github repository where in the open cv uh, data and you know hard cascades you have so many cascades files available right here so out of that, we are going to go, go ahead and get started with the face detection, then eye detection, or you can get try, you can try with other, um, you know, cascade files also. Now the first thing that I'm going to try is let's download the one which has the face detection. So da -da -da, we have so many files here out of which the face detection is this one. So front face detection. So what I'm going to do is simply click on this. So once you open this XML file, so let it load and then click on this raw. Once this file opens, just right click. Okay, now go to the folder where you are creating this and save this file with the XML, .xml file. Now we have saved the front face de detection and there are so many others also. So you have eye detection also. So let's click on this one. Let's keep it downloaded because we will also try to leverage, see how we can predict and how we can identify eyes from our camera. So I'm downloading this one too, and this is done. Now, what we are going to do is once we import CV2, what we are going to do is we are going to load the cascade. So in order to load the cascade, let's create a variable to load the cascade. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can just say, you know, F cascade and just load it with CV2 dot cascade. So, the class which you have to write is cascade classifier. Some keyboard issues is going on. Okay. Class C fire. Okay. And then you have to write here the name of the 
called file. So the name of the file, let's navigate to the file, which is this one. So the name of the file is the face detection. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy the name, come back here, paste it here. So this is what we have created and we have loaded the cascade file here. Now, in order to capture the screen from live camera, we have to use a feature of CV2, which is nothing but video capture. So what we are going to do, we are going to say capture and just we are going to define it as CV2 dot video release capital video capture. And in this one, I have two cameras. The first camera is of my laptop and the second camera is I have external webcam. So I'm going to utilize external webcam. If you want to use your laptop's camera, just mention zero. If you have external camera, mention one. So because it's, it's an array, right? So I'll just mention zero as of now. Now, once this is done, we have to go in an infinite loop and then we will have to also break this loop. So in order to go in an infinite loop, let's try to capture the data. So while we want to capture the data in an infinite loop, so we will just simply say while, sorry, while T capital, while true, we need that image, which is going to be equal to our capture dot read. So we are going to read this image. Now what we are doing here is we are going to read this image. We are going to, now capture is defined where we are capturing live screen from the video. That captured screen is saved in an image format. And now we have to perform all the operations on this our image. So let's write next code or the next line of the code, which will convert it into a grayscale. So in order to convert this image into grayscale, we need to click, uh, we need to create a grayscale here. So this is a gray CV2 dot, and you know, you can write CVT, so color. This is the function for CVT color. Now, what exactly is CVT color function? So you will be asking definitely, you know, what is the CVT color function? Why are you writing this function? So CVT color function is nothing but which is a library of Python which binds and designed to solve the computation problem where there are only two parameters. So the first parameter is the image itself whose color space is to be changed. And the second is the code of the space conversion. So what we are going to write here is we are going to pass two values to this particular code. The one value is nothing but what image we are capturing, which is nothing but the ing. And the second value is cv2 dot color and we are going to make it bg2 so bgr2 gray so we are just making sure that it is converted this image is converted into gray scale and this will return you again image okay so you have this image right now now let's detect the face so what we are going to write is face where we are going to detect the face and we are going to write here f cascade, which we already defined on top here. We are going to use this cascade file. And there's a function for this f cascade, which is called as detect multi scale. So this uh, where detect is d small and then multi and then there is scale. Now, what exactly this function does? So before I get started, let me just explain you very quickly what exactly this function does is that it this particular function has three parameters. The first parameter is a scale factor. The scale factor parameter specifies how much the image size is reduced at each image scale. The second parameter is about the minimum neighbors. So parameter specifying how many neighbors each candidate rectangle should have to retain it. And the third parameter is the minimum possible object size of this particular uh, scale. So we have, to uh, we have to pass all these three scales. So the first scale is obviously the gray scale image which we have created. So we are going to pass your gray. 1.1 is the value for the second parameter and 4 is the default. So I'm just using standard values, just making sure that nothing I'm changing right now. So this is how standard the code is written basically. Now what we are going to do is we are going to draw a rectangle around everyone's face, right? So before we draw a rectangle around each and everyone's face where we are going to detect, let's pass some four variables. So now we have to draw rectangles. So we need four variables obviously because we need to draw the four corners of it. Now, in this one, we are going to use the function, which we call the function, which is nothing but cv2 dot rectangle. Now, cv2 dot rectangle is a function which will help us to draw rectangle around the faces. So the first thing is obviously we are going to drag the image because 
image is the first parameter where we are going to draw this rectangle. The second thing is we need x and y. So we will drag this x and y. Sorry. The third parameter is obviously the rectangle. So we will draw x plus w and y plus h. And then we need to pass the color. So color is for blue color, we pass 255. So this is the color code combination. You can change color if you want to. So right now I'm using 25500, which is for blue color. And then there is a thickness of this rectangle. So you can set it as per you want. You can set it one, two. So I'm just setting it right now as one. Just let it set afterwards true if you want it to be more accurate or more clarified. So as of now, I'm just setting it as one. Now this will run in infinite loop and it will detect your face continuously. It will keep on detecting your face. Okay. Now after that, what you have to do is you have to also display this image, right? So Python will use again a function CV2 again has a function which is called as image show. So this image show function will actually show you the image which is being generated by CV2. So that's where we will just say image and we will pass our variable here. Now as this is, as I've already told you, this is going to run in an infinite loop. So we have to stop it somewhere. So to stop it, we will use a function of escape key. And so escape key enter function is really famous in Python. So all you have to do is simply define anything. So let's just say, um, I'm going to define anything such as the D. Okay. I'm just going to define a variable called D where D is CV2 dot wait key. So if you write a wait key, if you press any key, it will just stop. But right now we'll just make sure that if any key is not entered after 30 seconds, it stops. So wait key, and uh, we are going to use a function of, you know, making sure that if our D is equal to 27, that means uh, the key, which is escape button, then we should break. So that's all that we have to break here. And once it breaks, we have to release the capture. So in order to release the capture or the video, we will simply say capture dot release and we will release this video. So this is nothing, but as I have already told you, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 lines of Python code, which can help you predict face. Now here we have just, uh, you know, dragged a face a uh, frontal face uh, detector, uh, you know, cascade from that particular link. Now I will share that link with you in the chat section, but remember this is as simple code as that is. Save this code and let's go ahead and just, we will run this code in just one second. So this is the face detection code. This is the, you know, face uh, detection cascade file, which we have downloaded. And now let's go ahead and get started and see how the extraction results or how the Python script runs. So let me just pause recording. But before uh, before I you know go ahead and start my webcam, I need to check. I need to change this one because what happened is as soon as I started, you know, just a second. Why? Because zero is my laptop's webcam. I don't want to use laptop's webcam. I want to use my uh, another external webcam. So I'm just changing it to one. Okay, now I'm closing it. And now let's run the script and let's see how it works. Now our code is ready. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So what I will do is I will type CMD here and I will try to say Python and face detection. So let's wait that, uh, you know, it should start the camera and so see what happens. So it should start my camera and it has started my camera. Now you can see, uh, actually it is indicating my face with a rectangle around my face, right? So there was a small change which we had to do in our code. What we have done is we have stopped the code script. What I had to do is I had to change a small change here. The small change was nothing but uh, here I typed IMG. So you just have to remove the G. Or we have to do the function of uh, showing the images CV2 IM show. Now, also the thickness of rectangle is very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the thickness of the rectangle and make it, going to make it two so that it is pretty much visible. Now let's again get started. Let's type in CMD, Python, and let's detect face. Let's see what happens this time. Now it has started. I can see there's a small rectangle right on the side. Okay, I don't know why it is detecting that, but it is detecting face pretty accurately. 
So with only 14 lines of code, we can do that. Now, let me go a little bit far away so that we can see. So even if I'm standing here, it is still detecting my face pretty accurately. Even if I'm standing here, even if I'm standing here, it is detecting my face pretty accurately. So the face detection is working really nice. Now let's go ahead and get started with whether we can detect eyes, only eyes. So we have to make just a small change. Just copy this XML of eyes, casket file, edit the Python code. Let's go to sublime text. And we are going to change this to eyes, close it. And just write one more time. And this time again, Python. And let's run it and let's see. So let's see if this work, if this code runs and it is predicting my eyes. So if you see here, quick, pretty clearly, it detects my eyes. Even if I go a little far away, it is still detecting my eyes very nicely. And this is how this code actually works. So this code is detecting eyes. If you give a cascade file of eyes, if you give a cascade file of face, it will detect your face very clearly. So this is how it's working. Let me hit on a skip button. And that's all about the face detection code in Python, which you can write in 40 lines of Python code. So create this uh, code. Share it with me if you're able to create it and uh, let me know and share it on LinkedIn tagging me in your uh, video. Thank you so much and have a great day. So happy coding. Bye-bye.